Hey guys, so I'm sorry about the wind. It's real windy today. This is, uh, I believe it was November. It's, it's Saturday, November something. I don't know. And, uh, this is my yard. I just leaf cleaned it yesterday. Or just a couple days ago. <laughs> we had the hugest wind storm slash deal last night. It was nuts, like nuts. Crazy, even blew these sticks down. Yeah, pretty nuts. It blew all, blew all this down. It blew this down. And it blew all that down, this down. Blew that down, all that down. That down. I mean, all that got blew down by, by that storm. All these little twigs. But I thought, oh, I'm sorry about the wind. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Cut, this is the only day I can be able to do this, really. It's the nicest day. I mean, I'm bundled up. I mean, it's crazy here in Texas right now. It's like 48 degrees. <laughs> it's nuts. All right, so here's my uh, cart. A couple people have been asking me on it. Mr. Cut, residential lawn care, asked, if I could make a video of my trimmer axe, then I said I will tomorrow, so today, so yesterday is Friday, so I'm going to do a video on it. So what they are is they're just four pieces of pallet wood. You can get stronger wood if you want. Um, the reason why I didn't attach it to this is because this stuff is not as strong. I mean, it's kind of just kind of, you know. Because my dad thought we could just put them on here. But I decided not to because... I mean, first thing first... Is that... I mean, you couldn't get... Both the holes lined up on this. Well, some sometimes they get loosened up and you tighten them down. Pretty often. Of course. Uh, basically... They're just... $20 for me to make the trimmer racks. Um... And they're not the greatest in the world. I wouldn't really, you know, think that they're, I'm sure they're gonna hold up. I'm not sure. I've, I've been, they've been on there for a season and it's rained and all that. I need to paint them, but I, I just not wanted to. But all it is is it's just one of these regular J hooks. J hook. And um, it's just a piece of pallet board. Um, so, you know, it. I, all it cost me was the bolts, the hook, and I have a couple bungee cords. I bungee the stuff on so it holds it on. Um, yeah, see, I should have got, like, the stuff that came out and up, but that stuff was plastic, and um, I just thought this would be a little stronger. Uh, it's just a couple bolts, um, two bolts to hold the uh, this on and the, the J-hook, and I've, I've just I should got washers for this because uh, when the equipment sits on it it kind of brings the bolt in a little bit and all that um of course like I said I got washers down here as well I don't have washers here I should put got washers to go here and here but I didn't accidentally but uh so it's just a couple uh I don't know they might be an inch I don't know, two inch, two and a half inch, uh, one and a half inch uh, bolts. Anything under an inch won't work because it'll only stick out to about right there. Um, and this stuff, this is more of a thicker bolt. I didn't think I needed as much as a thicker bolt for right here. Uh, right here, it's maybe a two and a half, maybe one and a half, two and a half, two inches. Two inch bolt with a nut and a washer and the washer. Uh, and I mean they're sturdy as I mean, the only thing that's not sturdy is the wagon because of the sides. That's the only reason. Because you know they're the hook on sides. And um so that's basically how I made them. I just did all four. And I mean, you know, you could if you don't have a pallet wood, which I had 
I found a free pallet and I decided to do this. You, if you had to buy wood, I suggest doing something like this. Not this tall, but doing something a little more heavy duty than these. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna upgrade to something like this next season, just so I can just have a little more heavy duty. Um, not that you need it, it's just, you know. The reason why I went with the skinnier wood is because I can, if I had that on there, it would give me about two inches on each side, more than this. And all it would do is, if, hi cause, and all it would do is make me not be able to have like my 25 inch in here because I mean these would be right here. This adds about maybe one and a half inches on both sides. Um, the wood is not bowed yet. It is perfectly straight. That's why I did it shorter. I didn't do it like tall. That way it wouldn't bow as easy. Neighbors mowing, but I mean they're, they're strong. I wouldn't say that they're the best you can possibly get. You don't need four. Uh, of course, I mean the reason why I have four is I have my trimmer and my edger. Which the PE 280 will go on this side and the SRN, I mean the Steel Office 100 will go on this side. I can fit the Honda 21 and the Wide Bravo 25 inch. I cannot fit the Toyota Time Master. Um, I wish I could fit the Time Master, but I can't. Honestly, it's it's sad that I can't. Hi, little girl. But uh, then you think, what do I use the inside for? I mean, why do you need the inside? I usually put my blower and my gas cans and then my bucket. My bucket has all the stuff I need, like tool kit, edge blade, uh, pliers, screwdrivers, all that. Just five gallon Home Depot bucket, put it in there. It's got all the tools to tighten the tension, to tighten these bolts up, anything. I mean, it's got everything. Um, and like I said, I mean, they're just regular old boards, not like they're anything fancy. And then the wagon, it's a, uh, a groundwork. Oh, I can't really read it anymore. Groundwork, yeah. I didn't really see the O. I thought it was just like Grand Works. Um, but, I mean, it's a good wagon. It's a really good wagon. I, I'd recommend it. If you have a 21 inch mower, then this is the best wagon you can possibly get. Because it's 30 inches by 50 inches. Now, don't think you can put a zero turn in it. You cannot. <laughs> I'm sure some people think if they had a 50 inch deck zero turn then it might fit. No, it, it, it wouldn't. It's too small this way. Um, going on to the suspension, it's pretty good. The turning radius is good. I mean, you can do a pretty good turn with this thing for how big it is. And the handling, it's pretty good. You can go over really whatever. I mean, That's my burn pile. Like I said, you can go over really whatever. Since it's got the big tires, um, it'll really do whatever. My tires don't have a lot of air in them. I don't know, they're pretty good. But all the sides fold down. And the sides still do fold down. And they still fold down the trimmer axe. They don't fold down all the way to the wheel like they should, but I mean they work that much. It'll fold down that much. Uh now people ask me how tall I'm sorry I'm filming the game right now. Um, how tall are your racks? They might stick out about ten and a half inches. I'm, I'm sure they do about ten and a half. I'm not sure. I don't really measure a lot. I just kind of put it together, <laughs> you know. Uh, the next thing I'm need is I'm gonna get a sign for here. I'm gonna get one of those like metal signs. 
some like like a you glue it or, or screw it on there put a JD's lawn service that's my lawn service and it'll be good to go like I said you can put a 21 22 anything up to a 28 inch would fit in here I don't think a 32 would fit well no it wouldn't I, I'm sure you can get a bigger wagon than this it's just for a hundred bucks I mean I'd say it's a good price good price and I get in here it doesn't really move around much like those cheap wagons do I mean you can still move it it's pretty heavy I mean I can't put it in the truck myself I mean of course, I use it around my neighborhood. I, I tug it around. I'll usually hook it. Just uh, thinking of making like a trailer hitch to my Bravo and just hooking it on there, so and then I can just ride. You know, just be over to the side. But I don't think the Bravo can tug this. It's kind of heavy. So I, I would say a 26. A 25, a 20, I think a 28 and below would fit. Yeah, because those are 28 inch, probably like. Probably, there's my compost. Uh, holy crap, it must have rained last night. I didn't think it did. I didn't think it rained. Sure didn't. My compost is kind of falling apart. My, my dogs have been digging it up. But you know, free, it gets turned free, so I mean, I can't complain. I guess it did rain last night. I guess it did. It's quite a bit of water for Texas in just one night. That's probably due as well. Ugh. Hard to do one handed. This one is a good one too. Uh, can't, of course, can't fit a any any type of mower in it, but you can always put a weed eater and a, and a blower in it. I mean, I've had this thing for three years. This little dump cart, and it works good. So yeah, so now we're gonna do a review on the Echo P280 Edger. Oh. Go ahead, stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.